Once you have created your ticket, there are several functions available for working with tickets that you have created. You can press the table button to select between different tables that you have open and to work on different tables. From the table button you can select new table to create a new table or quick sale to create a quick sale. You can also create a quick sale by simply selecting the quick sale button and entering the appropriate information. With an open table, you have several options for working with the items on this table. The comp discount function allows you to comp items or discount an order. To comp items, simply select the item that needs to be comped and press the comp one button. To comp an entire order, simply press the comp all button. To discount items, select the discount order function. You can select a specific item. You can specify a discount amount and apply that discount to that item. To clear a discount, you can simply hit the zero button, select the item, and select that discount. Go ahead and put a 5% discount on this item. Discount one. If you want to discount the entire order, you would enter the percent and hit the discount all button. Next you have the option to remove or edit items from an order. If you have placed an item on an order that needs to be removed, you can select the remove edit button select the item that needs to be removed and then press remove item. If the item has been sent to the cook's ticket and your software is configured to require security you'll be prompted for a manager password at this point in time. You can also remove the entire table by selecting remove table which will also prompt for a manager password in most configurations. If you need to edit an item you can select the remove or edit item button and then you can select the item you want to modify and then select modify item. This will take you back to the list of modifiers that are available for that item and your selections can be changed. You can also add items to an order and then send those new items to the cook's ticket. When you select send to cook on an item that has already had one cook's ticket printed, you'll, you'll be presented with the option to print the entire order or to only print new items. This is to prevent duplicate printing of items so that they are not prepared twice by the cooks. You also have the option of splitting a ticket amongst different guests at a table. When you select split ticket, you'll see all of the items that have been placed on this ticket and then have the ability to assign them to different guests. By default, all items will be assigned to guest 1. So to assign some of these items to guest 2, I would simply select 2 and then select those items that need to be assigned to that guest. When I'm finished reassigning items, I can select OK and I now have a split ticket. Additional functions that are available for working with tables uh, or for working with tickets are to enter a SKU, which allows you to define to sell a product such as, as clothing items or other re regular retail items that you may be selling that are not placed on your menu. In some instances, that would be done with a barcode and a barcode scanner at your station. Uh, we support seat assignment so that as you're placing the order, you can specify which seat each item that you're putting on the order is assigned to. You have the ability to open a cash drawer, assuming that that function is enabled and that the manager uh, password is not required in order to perform that function. Additionally, you have the drink recipes module, which in some instances for some restaurants will allow them to view uh, recipes for drinks. To assist the bartenders.